G'day and welcome to Ben's Works. On this week's episode we're going to do some 3D printing and we're going to test out the Ender 3. So here's my Ender 3. I picked this one up off Banggood. It retails for about $293 Australian. I'll leave all the links in the description if you want to check it out. So the specs on the Ender 3, it has a heated bed and it has a print capacity of 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters. It has a 1.75 millimeter extruder with a 0.4 nozzle. It uses PLA, ABS and TPU filaments. The max temp of the hotbed is 110 degrees and the max temp for the nozzle is 255. It also has a max traveling speed of 188 millimeters per second. This machine also has a pause resume feature, which I'll be trying in this video. When you get this machine, it does come partially assembled. You don't have to build the frame and put the rollers on. It does have step-by-step -step instructions. They're really easy to follow. It took me about an hour and a half to put all this one together. Another good thing about this machine, it's easy to level the bed by just adjusting these wheels. Once you turn the machine on, the LCD screen will light up, and this is your info screen. It'll tell you a few things like your extruder temp, your bed temp, whether your fan's running, where your axis are, and also if you're running a job, it'll tell you the elapsed time and the percentage done. To enter the menu is quite simple, just click the main button. You can scroll down to things like moving the axis. It has an auto home function where it'll just tap all the limit switches and set the home position. You can also adjust the temperatures. You can adjust your nozzle temp, your bed temp, and also adjust your fan speed. To run a print on this machine is quite simple. You just enter the menu, go to print from TF, and select your G-code file. So there's plenty of places online where you can download files to print. One of the best I've found is called Thingiverse. And you guys know that I love making dragon eggs, so I found this really cool dragon egg cup that I'm going to print. When you download the file from Thingiverse, you need to convert the file into G-code. Now there's a really good video online of a guy explaining this. I'll leave a link in the description. But basically, you have to download a program and slice the file and then convert it to G-code. I've saved the G-code file to my memory card, so now what's left to do is run a test print. So on this first print, I tried out the pause resume function, and you can see here that when it resumed, it didn't line up properly. I'm not too sure why it didn't resume properly. I will do another test in the future, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna run another print. So here's the finished print. This thing turned out amazing. It looks really good. Now it took about two hours. Now because this is the first print that I've ever done, I don't know whether that's a good time or not. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Being that this is the first 3D printer that I've ever used, and I really know nothing about this technology, to be able to get it out of the box and printing this piece in under three hours, that's quite good. If you're looking to buy a cheap entry level 3D printer, I think for under 300 Australian or 200 American, it's quite a good buy. I hope you found this video useful if you're looking at buying the Ender 3. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can find the printer and the filament. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.